So now in this video we're going to look at uh, probably the last emitter follower circuit using bipolar junction transistors which have emitters. So an emitter follower would have to have them. You can also call them common collector. In any case, we have a trim pot here. You can get any voltage you want from the uh, positive supply, 10 volts down to 0 volts if that's the supply voltage you're using by adjusting the dial. If you put it halfway, you'll have 5 volts. Problem is, that's a lot of resistance at uh, 5 volts so the voltages are going to drop with a light load like this. What you can do is feed it to a NPN bipolar junction transistor as you see here and that will power the load really nicely. The only thing is with the uh, trim pot you would have to set it to uh, 5.6 volts I mean to get 5 volts out. Now the other thing we can do is make one with a PNP bipolar junction transistor. As you can see here though if you give it 5 volts in, whatever voltage you give in, it gives 0.6 volts higher than that. And uh, also, the emitter resistor is on the positive side of the supply, and so the load also has to be, if you're going to power a load directly, that's not very good. But you can build up that voltage there and feed it to the base of an NPN transistor, which will then drop that voltage down, and ultimately, you end up with the voltage you started with. So 5 volts in, really no current is needed to get uh, 5.6 volts out up there. And uh, so it doesn't throw off the voltage other than adding the diode right there. And then you feed that to the NPN bipolar junction transistor which drops about 0.6 volts and ultimately you end up with the voltage that you started with. So that's really about it as always. This is one of the circuits that's important that the collector and emitter are on the right side right there. So pay close attention to that. An arrow pointing in is a PNP bipolar junction transistor. An arrow pointing out is an NPN bipolar junction transistor. And you can see that ultimately the emitter is on opposite side because the opposite uh, polarity is used for the particular terminals. And here's the circuit on the board. So we have the trim pot, one side to the positive supply, the other side to the negative supply. In the middle, right there, we have our uh, wiper. It's just metal pins. And so now it's floating. It's doing uh, whatever. So middle pin goes there. And then the other two pins go to the power supply. That yellow jumper is helping to hold up that end of the uh, trim pot. But in any case, that's going to the middle pin, the wiper, to the base of the PNP bipolar junction transistor 2N3906. So flat side is to the left. That means that the emitter is on top, 10 kilo ohm resistor, the positive supply. The collector is to the uh, negative supply. That's at the bottom. So up here is a jumper to the emitter. That is where it outputs that uh, voltage. If that's 5 volts, that's 5.6 volts. Going to the middle pin, the base right there. This is a 2N3904, an NPN type bipolar junction transistor, it has the same pin layout as that one. So I have to rotate it if I want to keep positive up higher. So the collector is up there to the positive supply. Remember, players are going to be opposite for collector and emitter. And the emitter there is to the 10 kilo ohm resistor going to ground. The emitter is also connected to the current setting resistor that's protecting the LED. Long lead the anode to the resistor, short lead the cathode down here. It's a 510 ohm resistor, so for every volt across it, we're going to get about 2 milliamps of current. Remember, the LED drops about 2 volts since it's red, approximately 2 volts. But in any case, we'll zoom back, and uh, there you can see power supply is set to 10 volts. We limited current to uh, 20 milliamps. We have about 7 milliamps. This isn't completely accurate, and also not all of the current in this circuit's going through the LED, so it's going to raise it up a little bit, probably. But in any case, the end of the oscilloscope are these alligator clips. First, we will look at the voltage at the output. It's the middle pin there of the uh, trim pot, and uh, I have it set to 5 volts right there. That is the most important thing. So now, the other end of the jumper is right there. Again, 5 volts right there. There is that orange jumper right up there that goes across and you can see if I touch the orange jumper there we have about 0.6 volts higher than 5 volts approximately so that comes across and uh, also the it's the voltage at the base the middle pin 
right there. You can see about uh, 5.6. Now if I move it down to the emitter there, where the load is, there you can see we're back to 5 volts. That 5 volts that we had with the uh, trim pot. So we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it. We are measuring it there. And if I move this over to the middle pin of the trim pot, there you can see the same voltage at each one of them. So that's how you can take a weak voltage and amplify it with a bipolar junction transistor, two of them actually in this case, and uh, an NPN and a PNP, where you have the voltage at the output being the same, but the uh, able to provide a lot more current than you would with uh, the trim pot alone, which hardly can provide any current. The power is being provided, the current's being provided by the power supply, but controlled by the uh, transistors. So, in any case, I covered the circuits in a lot more detail in earlier videos, so hopefully they make perfect sense right now. I'm going to end it here. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that, donate, patron if you can, that helps out the most. But just watching as many videos as you can is a great help also. So, thanks to those of you that do that. I will see you in the next video.